What is up everybody, this is Patrolling Zombie, and um, welcome to my tutorial on how to um, better optimize uh, Daisy Standalone. Uh, as you know, Daisy Standalone is in a very, very early alpha, and thus is very, very poorly optimized. Um, uh, how you can run the game like Arma 3, how I can run the game with Arma 3 on like high settings, and then go to DayZ and get poop on low settings. Um, it doesn't make any sense, but it's very early alpha, so you gotta let it slide. But what you do is you go into your libraries and go into your documents, and you'll see two folders, your DayZ and DayZ other profiles. Uh, you want to go into your DayZ folder first, and you're going to see a, a config file. Now you're going to right-click it, or excuse me, whatever, click, blah, 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 and uh, you're going to open with Notepad. I already have that selected, and so you're going to open it, and then you're going to scroll down so you see GPU max frames ahead and GPU detected frames ahead. You're going to change these both to 1, and then you're going to hit File and Save, and then you're going to exit out. Now you're going to go back, and you're going to see this Daisy Other Profiles. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to see one with your uh, folder with your name on it. Click on that folder. And then you should see at least these two. I don't know about this. You should see this one. Um, but all that really matters is this one right here, the Patrolling Zombie, or your username. Uh, click on this one, not the username, dot var. So open that one with uh, Notepad. And scroll all the way down past all of these keys until you get to scene complexity, shadow, z distance, view distance, and preferred object view distance. Now, this is a big one, scene complexity. Um, it starts on like 200,000. I have mine at 500. I can't tell the difference between 500 and 100,000. You can call me blind, whatever. Uh, it looks just about the same, and it really helps your frames out a lot. Um, what I'm saying, this is for if your computer, if it's just really laggy, um, even with very low settings. So put that shadow Z distance doesn't make any difference the way it looks at least from what I can tell. And then uh, that uh, your preferred object view distance you want to keep pretty high I guess if you really need to turn it down. Um, it does it does make it lag quite a bit but I'm keeping it at 2300. And then I th believe I turned up the view distance a little bit because it's pretty important to see things in the distance. Um, you also go up here to shading quality, which is, I believe, at 8, and you can turn that down. Uh, I guess it makes a difference uh, a little bit. And then, also, if you're coming in here and you're running Daisy beautifully uh, on very high settings, ultra settings, whatever, for one, <laughs> that's you, sp you have too much money to spend on a computer. Uh, and two... Uh, you can come in here and make the game even more beautiful if you want to by putting this up to like 300,000, 500,000, 5 billion, whatever. So after you're done editing those four, go to File, Save, and then exit out. And there you go. That's really how you make you optimize DayZ. Uh, after that, you can go into the settings in DayZ and change those all to low etc etc keep in mind that doing that will change um the scene complexity and stuff like that so i recommend doing the stuff in game first and then doing this uh, but other than that that's really all you can do until they release optimization patches and it becomes a full game so uh thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a like if it helped at all and uh hope to see you guys out there in day z so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the future.